سلام So for the past few weeks, Nahi Jun has been in the kitchen with me and we've been preparing lots of delicious recipes from Shiraz. And one of the recipes that we were very excited to make but we were missing the key ingredient is kebab anjir or kebab anjir. Kebab anjir. Kebab anjir. And it's a wonderful recipe and the key ingredient is to use fig tree twigs. Initially we were hoping that our fig tree at home would be able to have enough twigs or branches to make this dish but we didn't and we searched in different nurseries trying to find it but we couldn't but what's really special is that my neighbor who also happens to be from Shiraz knocked on my door the other day and surprised us with these twigs and we are so excited to show you this recipe and make it for you guys kebab anjir is from Shiraz and it's a special it's a special i think because it's uh, very simple to prepare very delicious at the same time the reason is special is Um, I think the twigs from the uh, fig tree makes it very tender and tenderizes and a lot of people do not probably know that they can use it even if they are not making kebab anjir you can use these twigs and put it in your meat and become very tender and tenderizes the meat I have to say it's a very special and unique recipe I haven't tasted it so we're making it together for the first time and I'm going to be tasting it for the first time and I am super excited Shall we start? Sure. Okay. So now Hijun is um, just carving the tips of the twigs so that we can easily skewer in the meat and the vegetables into it. And she's just using a sharp knife to carve a sharp pointy edge. Yes. I'm starting to prepare the ingredients. First I start with the onion. And what I do with onion, I normally make it slices like a uh, circle. Like this. The next item I will be cutting the tomatoes also in circles. So when I'm putting it with the meat, they will stick together. So once the vegetables are prepared, we start screwing the kebab. I'm going to help you over here. Start with meat so that they will not fall off the stick, and then with onion. and then one slice of tomatoes, so we rotate. Nigel, a lot of these recipes that you've been teaching me are very time consuming, but this one is very easy and very simple. Well, there's, there's good, the good uh, point that you brought up because in the old days when they go to bog we say the garden uh, people would just have to take meat with them and the fig trees were all over they cut the fig trees fresh there uh -huh. uh, they start cooking this is a very simple you know ingredients they cook it and they get it ready for dinner or lunch or whenever it is so creative and then they would eat this with bread with bread or rice uh, your preference yes i like it with bread so I need to make some, or find some good bread. Some good Persian bread. Now I'm gonna add some spices. This first one I'm gonna start is uh, turmeric. I spread a little bit around. And salt. Pepper. Just put the rest of the kebabs. I'm going to add some water to it. Okay, now I'm going to add some saffron as you see on top of the kebab. And when it's done, I also add a little bit more saffron. Now it's just a bit of flavor. I cover it. So we're going to let this cook on high heat until the water comes to a boil and then we're going to reduce to medium heat and let simmer for about 90 minutes. Yes. 90 minutes plus. And then you can check it if it's... So minimum 90 minutes, maybe two hours if necessary. Yes. Time for some chai? I think so. Let's go have some chai. So this has been bubbling away. Yes. We had some chai, <laughs> some langinak, 
some good stuff and now time for lunch so i've got some saj bread but you typically would use lavosh bread or any other thin persian bread uh, yeah. so we've come up with a quick way an easy way on how you can heat up your bread because saj bread is so thin so what i recommend is just put it on the pot and the steam is just going to heat the bread up without crisping it without drying it and it just gives it enough moisture so that it's nice and warm so today i'm using saj bread and it, for me it's the closest one that reminds me of lavash bread which is a very traditional persian bread and i always say that when you're cooking you can always find alternatives because not always will you be able to get the exact same ingredients. But Nahijun, in Iran, or in Shiraz, I should say, Shiraz, you'd use a different type of bread. We do, we used to. Uh, when I was in Shiraz, we had the uh, Nuna Balzari or okay. Nuna Sangyai. And this food is very delicious with bread and some people eat it with rice. So we're going to try and make it as authentic as possible and we're going to make it with bread. I think our dish is ready. It is. I'm just going to remove the lid and let you guys see all the goodness that's happening inside. The meat has cooked perfectly. The twigs have acted as a tenderizer, a natural tenderizer, and I can't wait to dig in. So I'm just cutting some lemon to add over this dish. But I remember you mentioning that in the olden days, you no, wouldn't use... We didn't uh, need to do this because tomatoes were a slightly different taste and uh, a little bit more sour than today's tomatoes. So, so, so you wouldn't need to add wouldn't any need, more no. acidity. Okay. And this is something that I'm definitely finding quite consistent with Shirazi food is that balance of the flavors with the sour tastes that should suddenly come through. And I can't wait to try this, Nahi Jun. Okay. Oh, look at that kebab. It looks spectacular. How beautiful does this look? I'll just garnish with some parsley. And this is ready. Nahi Jun, are you ready for my favorite part? Yes, I am. It's always <laughs> the best part, the eating part. The eating part yes. Here's yours. Okay. And mine. I'm gonna watch you so you can how teach me how to do this. Okay. Let's put this away. Okay. Mm -hmm. I will just take this. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. And then we just roll it into a sandwich. Roll it into a sandwich. looks insane now, Ijun. Now I'm gonna cut some because I don't want a big bite. Shall we dig in? Nushijun. Mmm. Like that Shirazi food? I love Shirazi food. <laughs> We're never letting Naijun go. We're keeping her next to us. This is beautiful. A very nice traditional Shirazi recipe with a very unique twist using fig twigs. You guys have to try it. It's super delicious, super good, easy to make. And I hope you guys try it at home. Don't forget to follow and subscribe and stay tuned for more wonderful and delicious recipes. Bye guys. Bye bye.